Oh, then. Oh, then. That was a weird sound. <laughs> Hi guys, Busher here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing well. I have a new product here that I just received in the mail. Shipment was a little bit slow, but that's okay. Finally, it's here and I'm so happy to review it with you. Actually, before I even review it with you, unbox it and take a first look at it with you guys here in my beauty room. And that product is the new Chanel Brow... What is this called? <sighs> Brow Wax and Brow Powder Duo. Uh, I have it in the shade 2, medium. It does come in three different shades. I tend to go a little bit lighter with my brows just because I want that natural look um, and I don't want that harsh, dark brow look. Uh, I find that on me, personally, it makes me look a little bit more intense and aggressive. So yeah, wanted to test this out. It has been sitting on my vanity for a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to share this little gem with you guys. Uh, I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's bad. So let's take this journey together. Now, this guy does retail for $50. But I have to be honest, the reason why I decided to bite the bullet and buy it is because... Not for this. This is useless. <laughs> Packaging is just so adorable. Uh, the reason why I decided to buy it was because it's a brow powder and a brow wax all together. And what's cool and crazy is it comes with tiny little, like, you know, tweezers and a uh, brow, what is it called? A spoolie? I don't know if it's a gimmick. I don't know if it's real. I don't know if it works, but let's, let's dive into it. I don't know about you guys. Let me know if you guys are like me, where you love teeny tiny little things and <laughs> you can't help but buy it. If you guys are like me, let me know in the comments section down below and let us open this up. You have the traditional, oh, I just got smudges. That's normal with Chanel products. Um, I have so many things from Chanel and every time that top part gets so ratchet looking real quick, but don't worry because you have that thing, which I just chucked, you have this thing to wipe it up and make it look all snazzy again. But anywho, Let's open this up, I'm very excited. Uh, and inside you get a bunch of stuff, as you can see. First things first, you get a little spoolie. You get a microscopic tweezers. <laughs> I don't know why, but it makes me laugh. I'm curious to see if this actually will like pluck eyebrow hairs. Um, Let's see, do I have, I have like a few, let's see here. Oh. Not bad. You know how some some tweezers, especially the slanted ones, don't really grip onto the hair and pull it out. I've been using the um, the pointy type that like you know traps a singular hair and plucks it out. But this actually doesn't seem too bad. Let's try another one. Yeah. Okay. I like these. So far, so good. Let's try out the spoolie. Ah! <laughs> okay. I dropped everything. I dropped everything. Lord and Morsley. You know how most like uh, eyeshadow palettes or the Chanel blushes, actually the Chanel blushes come with brushes, which I love those brushes to be honest. Uh, Cause I keep it with me and when I am on the go, I just whack it with that brush. It's not the biggest brush by any means, but it gets the job done. When it comes to the eyeshadow palettes, yeah, those little spongy things are atrocious and should not be used but I'm curious to see well so far the tweezers work right uh, the spoolie spoolie's pretty good I feel like I wish the spoolie was a little bit different although it's not bad it's not bad it's definitely combing the hairs with the tweezers and the spoolie you also get oh these are adorable you get a little spongy like applicator that'll be interesting to use and then you get a slanted brush and this is amazing so you can do little little flicks of hair or you could line your brow with the powder and what have you these are bound to get lost that's gonna be problematic but I do like the fact that it's in a convenient case ready to go and then you also get like I described earlier gel and then this is the powder so that's kind of cool. And you get a decent sized mirror, which is great. You're right, so I don't need the plastic, check that. All right, so let us get the spoolie and brush up the brow hairs. Oh, 
up and out. I know in my last video I had a piece of dandruff stuck in my hair, which was really gross. But you know what? We're all human. We all have dandruff. Some more than others. I don't foresee myself using this tip thing. So I'm gonna go straight in with the angle brush uh, and I'm gonna go into the powder. Okay, I see a lot of kick up. All right. So there is quite a bit of kick up. Interesting. Let's see how this looks. Okay, that's, ooh, that is pigmented. Guys, guys, that's pigmented. So I'm just gonna actually, I'm gonna outline my brows first. Now I'm not gonna lie, I was more interested in this product for the brow gel more than the powder, but I wanna do this journey together. So I'm gonna do the whole review, whole shebang with you guys. Yeah, I wouldn't personally go darker than this. This is quite dark as it is. So that filled in my brows really nicely. I did have to dunk myself, <laughs> dunk into the product a little bit more often. And that's because I'm building up the product. I don't want to go straight with, you know, k -k -k bold brows. So not bad. Um, I do need to build up this portion just a little bit more. Yeah, not, not bad. I do like the fact that this is small because it's precise and I can get into little areas where I know I don't have or I'm sparse with little hairs. Um, and it does look quite natural. So I do like that. And I do feel like you could, you could get like a crazy serious brow with this product. Let's go ahead, brush that out one last time before I dip into the gel. That's really nice, actually. That's, that's pretty impressive. Okay. All right, let's go to the other side. Yeah. And I like how it's, it's natural. It's not too like chunky and clunky. Go in with my spoolie, brush that up and out. And I, I do have to say, I like the, the color. It's a nice color. Matches really well. It's really nice. I just need to get the hairs down here blended in a little bit more. That's really nice. It's a little stronger of a brow than I would prefer, but not bad. Now, as some of you know, I'm very picky about my brow gel. I love my Tom Ford brow gel. It's tried and true, love it. So I'm very curious to see how this compares to that. For shits and giggles, I wanna try using this little spoolie thing and see what that does. Like, does it fill in, does it? Oh yeah, okay. So I would use the, the angled brush to outline and then if you have thicker brows than I do, you could use this and dip it into the powder and fill in the sparse areas that you want a little bit darker. That's interesting. First glance, not a huge fan of this little thing. Good to have, good to have in the arsenal. All right, so I'm gonna take this spoolie straight into the product and ooh, scratch it up. Oh, beautiful product is all scratched up now. I do like the fact that I can I can control how much product gets onto the spoolie versus having you know something like my Tom Ford brow gel, which I absolutely love. You guys know that, um, but having to like wipe it off with a napkin, then that's a waste of product, right? So I'm glad that. You can control how much brow gel exactly you want. What I'm more mere, what I'm more concerned or curious about is the lasting power. Well, actually, there's a couple things that I wanna I wanna test. One is color, right? Uh, second would be lasting power. Three would be I lost count there for a second. 
Three would be um, if you get fuzzies, you know, I've tried soap brows, I've tried other brow gels and you know, the, the, the brow gel fibers or what have you get really fuzzy looking. So it makes your brows look really fuzzy. Like uh, Oscar, what is this guy's name? Mm, Oscar, the, the guy from Sesame Street, you know, his brows are all like kind of frizzy and crazy. That's kind of what sometimes it feels like when I, when I have too much brow gel in my brows. So yeah, so that's the third thing that I'm gonna test over a period of time if, if throughout the day it starts to get fuzzy. And then fourth is I do have a tendency of breaking out with brow gels, not brow pencils, not brow powders. Although to be honest, I've not tried a lot of brown brow powders, so I don't know. Uh, I will have to say, this is a little gimmicky. So this is a little hard to get into the powder and get an even application on the spoolie. I'm getting a lot of product concentrated on the tip portion, but not at the base. So I'm having to like kind of tilt, tilt that. And it's kind of one negative point for this so far. Although I'm really liking this application. I'm liking everything about this so far. Just not this. That's dumb. Oh yeah, I like it. Oh yeah, that's good. So, oh, I'm excited about this. This is so good. Let me say, when I use other brow gels, my brows get real stiff, like hairspray hair gel stiff you know and then it starts to itch a little bit I hate that feeling these feel fluffy but the problem with fluffy is fluffy don't stay you know what I mean so I am very interested to see the lasting power and I can tell immediately with this brow if it starts to droop throughout the day then then it's a no-go I feel like I need to go back in with the angle brush and concentrate a little bit more product down here I did notice that through you or with using the spoolie, the powder does kind of kick off a little, which is fine. Just build up in there. I think I definitely need more brow gel. Yeah, the holding power is not the best so far. I'm noticing that it's drooping down a little bit on that side. But let's see, you know, I could be proven wrong. Let's see. Now this is the thing with first impressions is I might not be applying it properly. I might not be, you know, dipping in enough brow gel because I'm worried that I might get too much and then I'll have crazy clown brows. So take this with a grain of salt. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really, really happy with the way my brows look. This is really nice. And I do like, I like all these tools so far, um, with the exception of this dome foam tip thing. But yeah, that's cool. Good job, Chanel. I like it a lot better than the other brow products that Chanel's come out with. I know that Chanel in the past has released a product similar to this where it's two powders though. There's a lighter shade and a darker shade. Lighter shade is supposed to shade in the front, darker in the back. But when I tried out that powder, that powder was a little too intense even then um, for a medium shade. So I really am pleasantly surprised with this. I think you guys should definitely try it out. Test it out for yourself. I will keep you guys posted on whether or not these brows last, but no complaints really so far, the exception of that foam dome tip thing. Oh, and, and the spoolie should be bent a little bit, but I can understand for packaging reasons that having a bent spoolie in there would be a little problematic. But that's just to get to the brow gel a little bit easier. It makes sense for the powder to be the way it is because you take the angled brush and you stick it right in and you got plenty of product. And the tweezers, I'm really surprised with how good these tweezers turned out to be. For someone uh, in, you know, from India, I've got thick brow hairs. I don't have a lot, but each one is very thick. And so I need good tweezers. 
So I'm really excited to try this more. And I love the fact that it's convenient, easy to go. I can just throw it in my bag. I could throw it in my purse if I need to for whatever reason. And I love the fact that everything is just conveniently there. Good job, Chanel. I love it. Price point's a little high, but you get a lot of tools. You get, you know, uh, this Chanel uh, and you get two products. You could just use the gel by itself, brow powder by itself or the brow gel by itself. So you know what? I think it's a pretty good deal for your, you know, for Chanel, for that brand. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when my next video comes out. And if you guys like this video, let me know. Let me know if you guys have tried this product out. And if you haven't, I think it's definitely worth trying. And uh, everything that is on my face will be listed in the description box down below low including this fabulous uh h&m dress which was inspired by lydia millen i will link that as well and i hope you guys stay safe happy healthy and beautiful bye guys